Shiva Raksha Babaji Yog. Greetings, blessed dream weavers of the tapestry of eternal life. Happy Equinox Gateway, angels of the new earth. We have a powerful 22222 portal with a major influx of galactic energetics flowing into this realm through the great central sun from the Most High. When we discover equilibrium within ourself, we manifest equality externally. We bring peace to the world by finding peace and balance within. This is what Shakyamuni Buddha called the middle path. No one and no thing is greater than or less than the other. On this equinox, we are in the middle point, which is the zero point in the space-time continuum. Our local Solaris rises over the equator, the middle Dantian of Pachamama. On his journey south to the Tropic of Capricorn and over the home of our sacred condors, the eagle travels to the condor for the divine union of Heros Gamos. The left path unites with the right path in holy matrimony to step into the abundance and prosperity in all ways for all sentient beings of the Tao. On this powerful equinox portal as we continue our descent down the central column of the Zolkin and enter the core of the time-space matrix this Sunday the 25th on the new moon in Libra, Pachamama received another powerful activation with a magnitude 6.8 earthquake in Mexico in the same portal as the 7.6 quake earlier this week. This was at 616 UTC the 6-6 gateway of Christ consciousness. With our eyes on the prize of infinite life and our heart chakras fully opened, exposing all that lay hidden to the light of love, we heal all that was broken and rise through the ascension spiral and into the portal of Eden, into everlasting life. As free and sovereign beings to be guardians and caretakers of the sacred lands of our keen's domains and our personal familial spaces. Bliss consciousness is a mindset, a state of being of joy and happiness in the heart and mind of humanity. This is the pure resonance of the angelic realm. We laugh our way to freedom. The doorway to truth is fully open we must step through for our divine heritage. We are all one under the sun, within our ocean of consciousness, living in the light and the truth of infinite Creator Source. Om Namah Shivaya Om. Aho. Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions for you again today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you had the opportunity to watch my special transmission for today's equinox recorded in a very special portal in pachamama please do that after listening to today's transmission there's a very special message for you in there today and as i was recording this powerful dharma talk i was visited by some beautiful angels of the wing nation one a scrub jay and you'll see i also released after the transmission a short video where she left me a very special feather along the trail on my way back to my vehicle and before i left home on this special journey today for this vision quest two scrub jays were creating quite a ruckus outside our building here and then upon arriving home my queen my sacred condor told me that while i was gone a bird flew into the window. So this is very symbolic, synchronistic with this great transition we're going through and our connection to our winged nations and our angelic realms. 444 coming in. Let us know in the comments 
what you experience today on this powerful day of the equinox, where all comes into equality under divine law, the one law, the law of the universe. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols right now. The moon is at 28 degrees, 22 minutes Leo. The sun is at 0 degree, 9 minutes Libra. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 1 degree Libra. A butterfly preserved and made perfect with a dart through it. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 29 degrees Leo. A mermaid emerges from the ocean ready for rebirth in human form from astrologyweekly.com and from divine sister of the light angelic jeanette shihura 2222 equinox stargate portal a powerful new earth timeline is being anchored for the collective during the seven day portal great personal and planetary quantum shifts are available for all now Keep your vibe high and keep grounding these powerful energies through in Mother Nature. Hydrate, meditate, integrate. Keeping aligned with your highest trajectory and greatest version of self is key at this time. Be mindful of your words, thoughts, actions, and deeds. Ensure all are aligned. Enjoy, enjoy, dearest beloveds. In love we rise as one. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Roberto Nunez, sending many blessings on this Equinox Portal Day 22-2022, crystal frequencies flowing from the sun, and as the latest CME, grounding will be essential over the next 24 hours, so you don't have nausea or anxiety, as your light pole will receive strong activations. The DNA will be strengthened, Downloads will be very powerful and dreamy. Lots of emotions coming out and it's very important to feel them. Allow yourself to open up to them, to feel them and let them go. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ra James, Happy Solar Equinox. The equinox is where the plane of Earth's equator passes through the geometric center of the sun's disk. The equinox is always halfway between the two solstices. This is a key event that is shifting us into a new season. It's a time of balance between the God and Goddess, the light and darkness. The autumn equinox marks our descent into the underworld, or the darker half of the year. The gates of the other world are now open. The veil between the physical world and the spirit world will continue to thin leading up till Samhain, Halloween. Since things are more open within the spiritual, it's a time to focus on the spiritual. It's a great time to sit with spirit or to connect with your loved ones or ancestors in spirit. We have now shifted into Libra season. Libra season is bringing airy fairy vibes as the worlds of the Fae are wide open right now too. On the 25th we have a Libra new moon. This moon is aligned with the galactic center. Expect major upgrades this week. This week is also one of the best weeks of the year for stargazing. It's a great time to see the Milky Way. Tonight you can see the constellation of Pegasus. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing .com. And from Divine Brother of the Light Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. September 2022 Equinox Energies Dear friends, Happy Equinox! We have made it to yet another intense energetic equinox. Today marks the point when our sun crosses the equator and everywhere on our planet day and night are approximately of equal length. It is a period in which energies are naturally balanced around us and within us, where opposites meet on equal ground, a time for integrating the duality within the oneness of existence. We have been experiencing a lot of transformative waves since the beginning of the year. It feels as if time is accelerating, and the inner growth lessons now are a common thing. Planet Earth and its inhabitants are on the Awakening Express line. This timeline can feel exhilarating to some and more challenging to others, but the more we resist the changes that our soul is requiring for our personal evolution, the rougher the ride will be. Please take this equinox time to go within and relax into your divine journey. 
Take a few deep breaths and trust that divine wisdom is taking you to a higher and more aligned path. May we remember that we can all coexist in balance inwardly and outwardly. Equinox blessings to you, my friends. Much love from DiegoBerman.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sandra Walter. Blessings, beloveds. This is a unique equinox. It may not feel like the typical balancing energy we anticipate at Equinox. We are entering a new phase of the ascension which amplifies realm choice and thereby realm division. We cannot expect the same energies from alignments, dates, or events, or the same outcomes any longer. We focus on zero point as our balancing energy and alignment with our highest trajectory. As these energies clarify, refine, and reveal what is in service to divine perfection and what is not, our personal and collective trajectories sort out into harmonic bandwidths. Source, the organic stargates, and Gaia are amplifying positive, unified, unconditional, divinely neutral creation for the higher realm Gaia experience that many refer to as New Earth. This heightening of realm choice brings forth the inevitable side effect of realm division. It is what it is. We are all part of the whole. It's simply division of experience. The higher vibration held by the I Am Presence activations this year allowed Gaia to co-create a supportive field of infinite Christ light. Equinox and the infinite Christ field. What seems chaotic in the external is actually more choice, more possibilities opening in our realities, less density, less limitations. We are accustomed to limited choices and density. This is perfect now to explore the limitlessness which Gaia shared earlier this year. We are open to the cosmos again and limitless possibilities for experiencing the multiple higher realms of Gaia and of Source as Self. The realm split opens us to more possibility, not a dualistic one reality or another. In my experience with our groups, the purity of energy building from zero-point presence is astounding. The infinite Christ field. This new field of infinite Christ substance may appear as crystalline gold diamond in visions. For clarity, it is not a grid, gateway, or bridge. It is a supportive field, co-created by activated hearts and DNA in these realms, and the legions of light and service to our process. It feels radiantly pure, yet somewhat surreal, because the pure Christ, Christed, crystalline, unity consciousness, all refer to the same thing, is a radically different vibration. This field is a natural side effect of collective ascension. Crystalline DNA, crystalline structures in our bodies, Heart coherence and the ability to hold the presence as our primary focus changes the parameters for reality choice. We emanate a frequency harmonic that attracts and amplifies the higher realm experience, the ascension experience, for all willing hearts. The higher realms revealed this new field a few weeks ago, and Equinox is its full activation point. How apt to resurrect a new crystalline field of divine purity three days after the symbolic burial of the old system. Infinite Christ field purpose. To support the vibrational integrity of Gaia's crystalline realms and divine human through the realm shift. This field supports divine truth, mastery, revelation, freedom. Vibrational integrity of the body consciousness as it transforms to crystalline. Less exhaustion, more presence, stability, mental, emotional, physical, during realm division and the migration of realities, realm choice and opening to infinite possibilities, transitioning to time-space flow, departing linear time, equinox activation. Many have noted the new unusual energy this month. It is important to align your choices as we experience this new level of Christ, unity, consciousness in these realms. Use this field as a responsible co-creator of divinity, the ultimate divine human. Practice direct, clear focus to create your highest outcome in thought, word, action, feeling, and intention. Provide no energy, 
thought, word, action, feeling, to undesired outcomes. Let those undesired outcomes burn out a little faster by starving them of your energy and focus. Create your desired trajectory, which is built from infinite possibility, moment by moment. Connect with this new infinite Christ field and co-create with it. It is teaching us how to exist in, create in, and experience the higher realms of Gaia right now. We hold this infinite Christ field as a divine interface with our higher levels. It provides a more refined, pure experience of multidimensional oneness with our higher aspects and divine support teams. Let us show humanity what is possible with ascension. In light, love, and service from SandraWalter.com And from Divine Angel of the Light, Blue Rose Oracle, Equinox Blessings Day and night are in perfect union today, aligning and dancing in synchronicity. Today is the equilibrium. The internal and external in harmony assault and light honor the gifts that each one holds. We are shifting again as another spiral births a transitional space of welcoming the darker evenings and the changing seasons, honoring the inner ceremony of a new rhythm emerging. The trees draw back their sacred sap and nectar, flowing these sacred gifts back into their roots, as the emerald green rays of growth shift towards oranges, yellows, browns, and reds, offering a symphony of autumnal bliss, reminding us that we too are changing, as our energy levels shift into a seasonal flow, and we release all that's ready to be transcended and transformed. Maybon is a time of celebration and retreat, to rest and reflect after summer's harvest and to review the past with love. Release the old patterns and plant new seeds which grow softly and gently in the darker months ahead, nurtured and cocooned, ready to bloom in spring. New templates are downloading into the crystalline field which is shimmering around Mother Gaia as the temples of light within the central sun continue to merge into our current dimensional holographic sphere. The templates are laden with light-infused frequencies and codes that shift our vibration into much faster rotations of light, color, and sound as we integrate multiple activation keys that recalibrate and upgrade the carbon-based frequency and patterns within the cellular, energy, and physical bodies. The crystalline templates are platinum-hued with an internal layer of rainbow light waves that can shift through the density layers and old imprints from old matrices as we are upgrading into new spirals of energetic wavelengths which activate the soul star and stellar gateway chakras, creating a clear crystalline channel to our divine presence. The waves of uncomfortableness and anxiousness being felt are the transitional layers between each version of ourselves dissolving. We are shedding the foundational belief structures and survival imprints that serve the versions of ourselves which we are expanding and transcending through and beyond. The opening of the higher chakras through the crystalline templates is expanding our whole vibratory bandwidth to accommodate the fullness of our presence and divine essence. This emergence into our crystalline layers is a transition from one vibratory resonance field which we have been holding and comfortable within to a much faster and heightened vibrational resonance field that requires trust and surrender despite the uncomfortableness of these new expansion wavelengths. Key observations, security and safety patterns and programs being released as we let go of the old narratives and versions of ourselves subscribing to lack, scarcity, or limiting beliefs. Sacral and solar plexus expanding and contracting as these old patterns begin to surface from the deeper layers of our ancestral and incarnational experiences and memories. Stomach purging, physical releasing, needing lots of realignment time in the morning to come back to center. Download stopping and starting, disconnection and wipeout waves as we integrate these new bandwidths. Take only what resonates, use your discernment, and follow your own intuition. 144 coming in. 
and from divine consorts of the light Surya Nanda and Ayed. The great central sun has a message. New steps are set to appear. Significant changes and transformations as paths on Gaia continue of those of the light. Continuation of 22 September 2022 from the great central sun Akashic Records. New steps set to appear is very exciting and sets into being the necessary changes due to take effect on Gaia and inhabitants. The download has been very intense and powerful. As in all instances, when downloads or shifts are released onto Gaia, some will have a more obvious sense of being received than others. The download of the 22nd of September being a continuation of the metamorphosis of the 19th of September has been tremendously powerful, encompassing within the necessary aspects dependent on the diversity of the wide-ranging paths on the great central sun, the omnipresent, omnipotent power of creation, existence itself, whether one is from the great central sun, stars, and worlds beyond Gaia. Those who are receptive to energies beyond the physical world of Gaia will be aware of the increasing downloads of higher energies and frequencies, as advancement of consciousness, the increasing strength and power of the creative force, that which is inherent within described so often as an inner drive and passion, as truths and greater understanding and the great central sun and existence opens its doors and mysteries. Long destined for these times of cosmic changes, it is necessary to recognize that the inhabitants on Gaia have far-ranging roles and paths on creation. Many of the predestined roles of service are of a practical nature and aspect very much a requirement for Gaia and inhabitants. Whilst for some their paths and roles are more esoteric, all have their roles to play and work as a collective in the uplifting of humanity and Gaia. And from Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Autumn Equinox 2022, This Reality is Not Real. Message those who are removing the fallen code of the matrix of the living dead out of their system and are recalibrating and resetting according to the natural living law will not be affected in the same way by the upcoming world events and changes which will create panic, fear, lack, and chaos. As those who are still under hypnotism by the program of the law of the living dead and believe that this reality is real. This is because the people who are releasing the code that was imposed on their perception are becoming free and capable of recognizing a different and upgraded reality, which corresponds to the natural organic law and are reconnecting to the true creation. Thus they will be able to find new ways, divine solutions, and create abundance by their own command. This is the true power of the human divine being, and once people figure this out, there is nothing to stop them. Exit the fallen program as it will start getting really horrible and the attack on its subjects will be raw and direct. There is a new path for all the living souls that wish to be free and return home to true life according to the natural living law. Fighting this reality is again being in and serving the fallen program. This is especially about the masculine energy in all. The masculine is to reconnect with the Father Creator and become His beloved Son again. The masculine is now to purify, forgive it all, surrender to the recalibration that is taking place, and command the best outcome in love, safety, grace, and abundance for all. The world needs the awakened, strong, wise, and loving masculine now more than ever. All this was just a story. Not a real one, but a simulated one. Have you gotten the lessons? Have you remembered your falling? Have you reconnected to your heart, inner records of the soul, true origin and memory? Do you know your karma? Have you recognized your attachments to the material things and others? Have you recognized how much the program has played with your perception? Have you found your share of responsibility? Have you forgiven yourself and all creation? Are you reading your own inner book of life? Have you reclaimed your superpowers? All the above is of the utmost importance now. 
The fallen program has been flashing specific symbols and images at the subconscious and while sleeping since the day one was born, in order to keep the hypnotism on their perception going. Please do not believe the code, go beyond it. Do not believe the fear, the depression, the despair and the pain. Once one decides to break free from the code, one can see and recognize these images of control and cancel them. It is all about perception and the guide is the heart. It is the heart that shows the way out. It is the love that liberates. There is a full-on reset to take place and the beginning of this is on the equinox. Blessings of awakening from the oblivion. Erini. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica. Equinox blessings. As we join together Mother Gaia and all beings, embrace the unheightened light. Cosmic planetary awareness. Our personal journey uniting all beings. A wonderful week of contemplation and expansion. Align with your favorite tree, river, butterfly. Be together in light, in gratitude. Embrace the collective role of every being. Love equals unity. From KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn144, God Code. The choice to go after your goals is ushering in movement and changes this weekend. What will bring you happiness is becoming brighter and brighter, lighting up what has been hidden. This great reveal gives you the opportunity to heal, learn, grow, and move on to better. As a collective, we are ready to travel ahead with God's plan. We have outgrown the separation loop. It's time to move on together and become one family once again. Say yes to this offer to enter the bridal chamber. Release control and let God ascend you into the new beginnings he has for you. In Jesus Christus name, Amen. God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Minima, Grand Rising, Beloveds, Blessed Maban, Blessed Equinox, We had a full and intense summer, and I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to the cool down and the dark, moody, inward time of fall and winter. Never thought those words would come out of my mouth, but we've been going through waves and waves, portal after portal of immense star codes that are bringing the fullness of our DNA online, and it's been kicking butt. This is a great time to retreat and rest. Do a wellness check-in with yourself and your spirit, and give yourself grace and congrats for the work you've done this far this year. This year has been no joke. We are still getting blasted, and although the seasons have turned and we enter a new vibration, fall and winter tend to bring on deep shadow work, but you've been working on this all year, so you know the drill. 2022 has been about mastering your multidimensionality and how you exist within many different planes of consciousness. Remembering how to weave all these frequencies ain't a joke, and it does a lot to ever-changing bodies. You may be feeling stiffness, joint pain, pain and uncomfortable sensations in the womb, especially if you have any imbalances within this portal of creation, Stargate. The heart and the throat are going through it, and you may be experiencing a lot of mucus and phlegm clearing these next few days. Think of your stomach as the master starship that you use to teleport energetically to many different timelines. The solar plexus navigates your jumps, travels, weaving into many different dimensions of space and time. So it is doing deep work. Deep cellular clearing continues and the past may be coming up in waves as another layer of grief, of releasing, of anchoring your growth comes up to be looked at. Remember, healing and clearing happen in waves so as to not overwhelm the nervous system. You may be craving sweets or dense foods you don't normally eat. Give yourself grace and understand your body needs what it needs to acclimate its new energy grids. Some of you dreamers are working closely with the Lyrans as you create new grids of consciousness. We can and are playing in. A lot of dreams about lands, places, and portals you've never seen or heard of that are now calling you to explore. 
Most of us are working with the councils of light and new star beings that are making themselves known so they may work with you, especially if you are a way shower, healer, change maker, and doer. You may be experiencing massive duality clearing within you as well. Many are experiencing both sides of a reality, and this can be confusing and feel like a setback if you don't know what is happening. Everything is happening to teach you how to navigate a new world and to see yourself as the creator of this world. Your energy moves creation. Be the master weaver of your energy and move it towards parts of your body and life that need some assistance. Then you will see your manifesting power and flow. The head is going through it. The mind feels foggy and heavy as your brain is doing its transmutation upgrades. This may need you to try a little harder to maintain your thoughts and don't fall for the illusions that keep you limited or trapped in a lifestyle or thought patterns of the past. You've grown and changed so much, star seeds. Give yourself love and patience as the new, healed version of you anchors and roots into your new realities. Our new norm is self-mastery. Many of us are living in many different realities right now, and this may have you feeling a bit overwhelmed. Don't forget to call in your assistance from your teams and let them assist you with the denseness. I wish you magic and interdimensional blessings as you master the jumps. From Mother of Starkeeping.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Molly McCord. Twice a year, the Earth energetically returns to a balancing point of equal daylight and moonlight as we are supported in returning our frequencies, bodies, and life force to a zero point of stillness. Twice a year, we can readjust ourselves to be in tune with the pulsing energies of the universe and allow ourselves to be in sync with the flows and expressions that we naturally sense and feel. Twice a year, we can intentionally work with the natural transition of the seasons and feel a deep appreciation for how we are innately connected to this ongoing cycle of life. The Libra Equinox occurs on September 22nd and 23rd, opening up a zero point of new potentials, balance, peace, and internal harmony. This annual transition ushers in the next season of growth, expression, connections, and change. The zodiac wheel moves from the internally focused signs of personal development into the externally focused signs of interactions. It is a beautiful time to honor how you have grown and evolved, as well as deeply honor what you have become more conscious of within yourself at a core level of your being. Now the energies open up to the fullness of others as we share our light, needs, joy, and vibrations in a broader way. The Libra Equinox is a lovely time to tune in to how your internal world is expanding into the external world even more. It is time to note the power of heart-based connections, equal exchanges, joy-filled interactions, and peaceful relations. Billions of people are here on the planet at this time to move through this grand awakening and evolution of humanity. It is time to hold a deep sense of gratitude for the people you journey with those who see you, those who share common values, and those whom you can trust in a deeper way. You can put very solid intentions and consciousness into your auric field during this Libra Equinox energy to properly code yourself with the frequencies that are best for you now. May this next season bring you greater support, trust, faith, and peace within yourself. May we also extend this energy out into the earth to continue to support the powerful transitions on the planet. May all beings be safe, loved, cherished, and respected now. Onwards we spiral up. From Molly McCord.online And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Sun conjunct asteroid Iris and Virgo. Both Iris and the Sun are on the final anoretic degree of Virgo. This is a super sensitive degree, highly prone to nerves and worry, pouring over the details again and again and again, hyper aware of disorder, vigilant against every possible dis-ease. And yet, there is also the potential for energetic awareness at quantum levels, the deep and profound peace 
that comes from helping others, the brilliance of insight into healing in all its forms. Efficiency becomes effortless when we relax into natural rhythms. Iris as goddess of the rainbow is a bridge to the heavens, a reminder that there is always hope. She also promotes clear sight of the psychic kind, the kind of vision that comes when we place ourselves in humble service of a higher power. Look with your heart to perceive the divine order in all things. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 127, Blue Planetary Hand. Planetary is the name for the number 10 and its keywords are manifest, perfect, and produce. For millennia, mankind has counted on his fingers, and so the number 10 has long been associated with the top mark, 10 out of 10. These days are great for manifesting what you need. This number really does produce results. Every day in the Zolkin is greatly enhanced when it occurs with the number 10. There are 20 wave spells, and so of course 20 times we get to experience the number 10's perfect energy. Today is blue hand, which represents knowing, accomplishment, and healing. We have 10 fingers to count on, on our hands. Give me a show of hands. The blue hand is very handy for putting your hands to good use, offering a massage or taking on some handiwork. Today is great for producing something with your hands. From kneading dough to pottery, sewing, knitting, or anything you can make, manifest. It's the perfect day for healing, too. Don't waste this opportunity today and see if you can make things happen. The blue hand can make us feel ambitious, because accomplishment is one of its key characteristics. This can lead us to reaching out and grabbing what we want, as it is a number 10 day. It's a perfect day to go grab what you want. By the end of the day, you should feel like you've accomplished something perfectly. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Planetary Hand, 10 Manique, Keen 127, 22nd of September 2022, Manifesting Gaia's Healing Vision. 22 9 2022 equal 496 equal 415 equal 46 equal 10 equal 1. 22 22 Peace Portal. Day codes 22 Architect of Peace, Master Builder. 4 Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic. 10 Manifestation, Power, Authority. 1 New Beginnings, Original Leader. Month year codes 9, Completion, Service, Destiny, Divine, Humanity, Grace. 15, Spiritual Alchemy, Charisma, Magnetism. 6, Heaven, Christ, Family, Harmony, Fertility. 20, The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22, Keen 127 equal 10, Manifestation, Leadership, Authority, New Beginnings. Today we have Keen 127 equal 10, Planetary Tone equal 10, and Day Total equal 10. 10 10 10, Triple Manifestation. A powerful divine day for manifesting, healing, and accomplishment on a planetary level. September Equinox. Today we are accomplishing healing and building a new peace-filled world, which is perfect as we transition through this powerful equinox window. The exact time of the equinox is 1.03 a.m. Universal Time, on Friday the 23rd of September 2022. In most of the Northern Hemisphere, the exact point of the autumn equinox is on Thursday night, the 22nd of September. Spring mode, equinox occurs on Friday the 23rd of September around noon, 11.03 AEST, Melbourne, Sydney time. Equinox is a great time for a reset, bringing your life into balance. Day 10 in the white mirror wave spell of reflection, truth, illusion, endlessness, and magnification. Today is the day of physical plane manifestation. The accumulation of energies over the last 10 days of this wave spell allows us to harvest this energy today through manifestation. The white mirror magnifies and reflects the endless order of alignment in our center, illuminating all that needs to be discarded in order to accomplish great healing. 
The closer we get to the core of the Dzolkin and our center of balance, the more potent our manifestation power. Tone of creation, planetary tone 10 in the physical realm. Action produces, power perfects, essence manifestation. The tenth stage of the wave spell is the perfection of all we imagined as possible and more. It is the harvest stage, where we happily reap our manifest splendor. The forms we have been imagining begin to manifest into our reality, and our lives begin to reflect the deep soul longings that we desire. Planetary energies enable us to build and manifest strong connections with Spirit and Pachamama today. We have the power to perfect and accomplish great healing through our manifestation process today, perfecting healing in all aspects of our being, on a personal and planetary level. Earth Service 222 333 1111 1010 1212 1221 444 555 Best Times and Exact Equinox Time Take the opportunity today to sit in nature and send healing energy to accomplish healing for all planetary kin and our Earth Mother to reestablish her perfected utopian vision. Visualizing Nova Terra Gaia's perfected brilliance emanating from the rainbow butterfly wings surrounding and enfolding her with pure source divine love ready to take her magic flight. We reach Hunabku, the galactic center, in four days' time, the 25th and 26th of September, 2022. Today's question is how can I use my panoramic and prophetic vision to find perfect solutions and manifest great healing for myself and our planet? Divine blessings for accomplishing great healing and manifesting our collective vision. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 127, Blue Planetary Hand. The mantra, the code for today is, I perfect in order to know. Producing healing, I seal the store of accomplishment. With the planetary tone of manifestation, I am guided by the power of vision. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Sally Swint, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to help support our work and mission in this channel, help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to also thank our Divine Sistar of the Light, Deborah Papines, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We truly appreciate you and all your support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at egolovecondor.com. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. And now we complete today's transmissions with powerful codes from Cosmic Astral Insights, 1708. Dark energies are disintegrating at the midway point. Destabilization of all control systems is happening at 76% non-regressive at this moment. Immediate replacement is, rotation of light bearers is, 444 coming in. Earthly humanity connects special creations at this momentum. Galactic flows follow the alignment. 
Eighth dimension energy is reverberated. Oceans cover humanities. Recalibrations coming in the next weeks. Eternal spirals are merged. Attention humans. Concentrating your consciousness on your heart, that's the point. The airs of tolerance are amplified. Press conference programming follows the ascent. Emotional and mental traumas happen for greater release. God knows what he does. New programs and light codes are updated. Lunar surface is harboring positive right now. Specific souls reach their prime spot. The statisticians are enabled. The shadow kingdoms are no longer rebuilt. God is God. Collective incumbency is key now. You need not fear each other. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed equinox portal and powerful journey as we continue into the galactic core of Hunabku, the galactic butterfly. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.